Here's a unicorn braid. This is what it should look like, hopefully, in the end. Now, first, you're going to need to get some rubber bands. You can put them on your fingers. You can put them on the toes. Just make sure you have a good supply of them and ready to go. After that, you're going to start brushing your pony's mane. Make sure you get the top on top part that you visually can see and the underneath part because while you're braiding, you're going to really notice if you don't get underneath good. And I'm not showing how I do underneath, but you can even flip the mane over and do it. Now your brush is going to be full of hair and sometimes it's going to be hard to continue brushing. Just walk right over to that trash can and plop that crap right in there. You don't need that. Watch this. Bloop. Right in there. Throw that brush on the ground. You don't need it anymore. You finish that mane after 10, 20 minutes of brushing it, hopefully. And then now here what you're going to do is you're going to take two sections of mane. You want pretty good sized sections too, above average from what you're normally used to braiding with most likely. Now, as you can see there, I'm struggling a little bit with the knots in his hair. Clearly, I did not do a good enough job. On these two pieces, you're going to be rotating on both the same direction and twisting them. And here, I chose to do a clockwise direction with both of them. Now, this is like the fourth time I've ever done this braid before, so I'm struggling a little bit more compared to average. And in this part, I have it in my mouth, and it's a little bit hard to deal with it, but it leads both hands all funky. And you just twist that stuff right up there, and it works really great. Just really, really great. And now that I have both of them twisted, you twist them around each other. I'm not sure if direction particularly matters here, but this way worked for me. And you want to make sure you just get as many twists in it, and you keep each individual twist really tight. And you just do that a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot until you're finally going to get something that almost looks like this. And it goes all the way down. Now, this looks like it's going to untwist, but it won't because you've twisted them both the same direction and then you twist them around each other. When you're done, just put the rubber band on and when it's done, you will see soon, hopefully very soon, that there you go. It's not untwisting and it looks good. Sometimes there's little hairs, just pull those right off, whatever you got to do. And then here I'm showing um, I've got a good technique down of efficiency, trying to you twist and go. Instead of twisting all at once, I'm just going with it and twisting it all at the same time. I'm. You feel free to skip through the video a bit if you understand this by now because this is just I really want to make sure you guys see the technique that I got down on this part. I know it takes a lot of repetition of just watching over and over again to get stuff sometimes. So that's why I have extended. Feel free to skip to the end if you really want to. But technique, awesome technique. Twist both hands, twist around each other. Good stuff. Wrap that stuff right up there. And now this is, should be your final product. Now just hold on a second before you leave this video. There is additional that I did on this pony's mane. And I'm hoping that you guys go and watch that video. I don't really have a name for what that's called. It's kind of a mixture of a Russian rug and some weird braid. And I'm hoping that you guys will check it out. I also got some other videos. I've got a snow video where I go sledding. I got another snow video and another snow video and got skijoring. If you don't know what skijoring is, you take skis, you run it behind your horse, and you just go. You just go at it. I've done snowboarding behind my horse. I've done it's sort of skateboarding next to them. I'm going to have new videos out with that. Hope you guys like this one. If you do, leave a comment below. If you want to see more of these, feel free to subscribe. I'll try to get more of these out, come up with new ideas for you guys. Just let me know if you like it or not, and you guys have a good day. Have fun with your ponies.